paradise is here now, an excerpt from horizons beyond the mind. Heaven and hell are not the physical concepts or existence, they are psychological aspects. Normally we live with many emotions and these emotions continue to create problems with us from time to time. These emotions are anger, jealousy, hatred, ego, greed, confusion, frustration and things like these. We do not live with one emotion alone. When there is jealousy, there is lack of trust, there is anger, there is frustration and things like these come up together as a bunch and then we live in hell. So it is our own creation, not somewhere a walled garden that you may call garden of Eden or heaven or hell. Paradise is here now. Hell is when you do not live in the moment of here and now, you are guided by rainbow of emotions like anger, jealousy, hatred, you are in hell. This very body is Buddha, you are the seed of awakening and what is this seed of awakening? What is this seed of awakening? Love is the seed of awakening. Out of this seed, awakening happens Buddhahood or Christ is born out of it. Life evolves out of love in many dimensions. Life basically is an expression of love. Love is the fragrance of the flower of life. Love is the fragrance of the flower of life. Indeed, love and life exist as two sides of the same coin. The person who avoids love is simultaneously avoiding life as well. Certainly those who have been life negative have also been love negative. By love I do not mean an emotion, it is an energy. It is your very breath, your awareness. In fact, escaping from the world was really escaping from any situation where love can arise and blossom. Love does not arise only in relation to the male-female relation. Love is the very way of your life. Love is the very way that you look at the things, the circumstances and situations. If you are looking at the life, its circumstances and situations with total awareness, the seed of love is growing in you. For thousands of years, man has been afraid of love. Love is God and love is life and love is the very core of existence. But one has to learn the art of loving and its secrets as well. It is an art. Love is the inborn capacity but it cannot be refined. Slowly and slowly it can be helped to grow. And one day love becomes the peak, the crescendo. Only when love comes to its crescendo, you experience godliness. Then life becomes a sheer joy and each moment a dance, a celebration, an ecstasy. Then life is no more misery. Indeed, condemning life as sin Trying to escape from life, avoiding it, 
and looking so idiotic will not be needed anymore. However, for thousands of years, man had lived under this impact. This very life or love negative attitude proves that man has not allowed his intelligence to blossom. He has lived like imbecile. Indeed, religion is the art that teaches you how to love and how to live. This makes you capable of loving without attachment, possessiveness, manipulation and without any ego trip. It makes you understand the complexities of existence. Accept these as mysteries. These mysteries are not to be solved, instead to be lived. Religion helps you to walk out your way through the woods of life. It is a great challenge worth accepting. Only those who accept the challenge can really grow. Those who turn their backs towards life, they never grow and remain juvenile. All escapists are basically hippies. Hippies means those who have shown the hips to the life by growing long hair as it is normally considered that these people are hippies. Hippies are the ones who show their hips to life and run away from life as escapists. All your saints, mahatmas, sages are really hippies because they are life negative. They are real hippies, however serious and somber they may look but they have shown their backs to the world and to life. In fact, they are cowards. But they have been worshipped. They have been imitated by others. Every effort has been to make the whole humanity follow these people. It is time enough to say a total, a full stop to all this nonsense that has been going on. You have to put a full stop to the whole life-denying approaches, life-denying attitudes, life-denying techniques, life-denying religions, and in place of it learn to love, live, and be a light onto yourself. This is the only way to become awakened or enlightened. So this is the only way that one can realize one's potential of becoming a Buddha or a Christ. Certainly, by following Christianity, one does not become a Christ. Instead, by living one's own life authentically, without any hypocrisy or pretensions, utterly naked in the sun, the wind and the rain, always open the available one, become awakened. There is no need to fear. It is your life and you are not accountable to anybody else. You are the master of your life and there is no need to create any misery. And why live life in such a way that becomes a sad affair? The same energy can become a dance and the same energy can become a death. It is the same energy. Everything depends on you. You can accumulate the manure in your living room then it will stink and it will be horrible to live there. However, the same manure can be used in the garden. It will bring beautiful flowers, roses and lotuses. It is the same manure which will stink in the room 
but will create perfumes, fragrance in the garden. One just need to arrange one's life in a beautiful way, then there will be no need to go anywhere. Wherever you are, paradise is there, heaven is there and you live in heaven.